In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw circuits using circuit ticks. In order to use ticks, you have to have LaTeX. And a great way to get LaTeX is to get an Overleaf account. So go to overleaf.com. It's free. And you can start doing LaTeX right away. You don't have to install anything on your computer. But you can if you like to. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit New Project, Blank Project. And then I just give it a name. And it creates for me a template LaTeX document. So it's an article. And I'll point out here that this is what we call the header. And then the document itself, like what you'll see, it is all here. So there's title information in the header. And then this make title command shows that information. So we can see here what's happened. There's some funny stuff going on, but we're not going to worry about that. So there's an introduction section. That's fine. To get started drawing circuits, what we'll do is we'll create a figure environment. So we type begin and then figure. And the nice thing is Overleaf has completions for you. So I click that. It creates a figure environment, so there's a begin, there's an end, there's centering, include graphics. Now, include graphics is for bringing in an external figure. That's not what we're going to use. We're going to delete this. And now we introduce another environment. Begin, circuit, x. And it knows about this already, so it creates a begin and an end. One other thing I have to do to use circuit ticks is to add a package. So up at the top in the header, or actually it's called a preamble, I have to add a line. And so I'll put here, use package, circuit ticks. Now I can put commands in this circuit ticks environment. By the way, I'll point out that this automatically loads ticks. And ticks is a drawing program or a drawing extension for LaTeX. So let's start by drawing something. So the first thing I'd like to introduce is the draw command. And you just draw between two points. So this will create a line. If I recompile it, you'll see here, I've a, there's actually a figure now. And you can see it has a caption. And it drew this line from coordinate 0, 0 to 1, 1. With this draw command, I can specify a few things. So I'll, I'll put in here that I want a arrowhead on that line and I'm going to thicken it so I'll call it right very thick recompile and there's a thicker arrow I could also add to this so where it says 0 0 to 1 1 let's also make it go to let's say 1 3 and you'll see th this introduces a bend in the arrow so this draw creates what we call a path there's the bend in the arrow and the head We'll use paths, but we'll define circuit elements. One other thing I'd like to show you, actually, before we go too far, is that I can use relative coordinates. So we've gone from 0, 0 to 1, 1. Instead of doing 1, 3, I'll go relative, and I'll go plus, plus. And then we, we want to stay at the same x coordinate, but we want to go two points higher. And that will be exactly equivalent to this. See, so it's recompiled it. Uh, and this plus plus means relative to the last named coordinate, which is 1, 1. Now, let's do a draw command, but we'll use a circuit element. So we'll draw. We'll start at 0, 4. And we'll go to 0, 0. So I'll do relative. One thing to point out is every draw needs a semicolon. You'll see this here. There's my new line. To connect those two points, not with a straight line, but a circuit element, right before the two, I specify a circuit element. So I'll put here voltage. So we get a voltage source. And let's see that happen. OK, nothing happened there. Uh, I think maybe I, I need a capital V. Let's do that, capital V. That's better. That's a voltage source. Now, I don't like the way that shows up. I'm in America. Our voltage sources don't look like that. We use something else. 
So I'm going to put here right next to begin circuit ticks, we're going to use American. And then it'll make a more American styled voltage source. There it is. That's something me and my students would recognize a little bit better. We have V. I can put here little node markers. So I'll put star for the node marker and then a line or da dash for a line. And you'll see what happens. It puts a little node marker there and then it's connected, but there's no node marker at the other end. If I want the node marker at the other end, I add another star right here. So now I have one at both ends and let's just get rid of the first line. So now uh, I might want to add a symbol for this. So what I do is I put here uh, another argument. He'll put comma L for label and we'll put here in dollar signs. Well, I'll, I'll, for now, let's not put dollar signs. I'll put capital V and see what happens. It introduces a capital V. But if I put it in dollar signs, we can use math type expressions. So I'll put here VS for voltage source and it becomes an italicized v and a subscript s maybe i want the symbol to show up on the other side of the res the uh, source so i put instead of just l i put l underscore and that switches the side and now i will continue this path so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a return carriage return right here just so that i can visualize better the points that are happening here in the circuit. So the next point is down here and uh, I'll connect it via a short circuit. And so we'll put two and then we'll, we have to specify the connection type. And then let's go to the right by four units. Let's see how that goes. I don't like this. So I think if I move this V here I, and I put it two, then that will be better. Yeah, the formatting here should happen after the two and the circuit element should happen after the two. So here the circuit element is a short circuit. Let's add a resistor. Two, R for resistor, L for label r1 and let's just go up four units and now there's my resistor i'm going to move the symbol r1 to the other side using an underscore there's that and then we'll close the path by adding another short Now I can add labels. So for example, my first point here is zero four, that's up here. I'm gonna type here, uh, we're gonna add a label A, for example, we'll put here node. And to put text, we put in A and you'll see what happens. It puts an A there. A is centered right on that node. So I'm gonna put here the anchor to be south. So the anchor point for this text will be south, but it will be at that node. So the text will appear above. So we'll put here, I think this is how this goes. Anchor equals south. Compile. Oh, that wasn't good. I'll move my anchor equals south. That's probably better after the node command. There it is. So my A now is just north of its anchor point. So its anchor point is to the south. Let's add another symbol. And actually, I'm going to put this A in italics, uh, dollar sign, LaTeX math type setting. The other end of this, we want to be node B. So this is after the voltage source or the battery. So we'll put here node anchor 
this time north. And so there's my A and my B. If I wanted, maybe I'll put, also I could put north east and southeast. And you'll see how that changes the locations of the labels. Uh, other things I might want to put in here, let's add a voltage symbol across R1. So here I add an option and I put V, V underscore one, and you'll see what happens here. Now it treats uh, this as the plus side and that as the minus side. So if I have, uh, the other issue is that the V and the R appear on the same side. So if I want, I will, um, I'll get rid of this underscore for the label and then the, they should appear on opposite sides. Okay, the other thing I might want to do is change the orientation of the resistor so that the top side is the plus and the bottom side is the minus. So instead of doing that uh, like this, what I'm going to do is, well, I want the voltage source to be connected like this from A to B. So we keep its orientation. Instead, I'm going to terminate this with a semicolon and we'll use a new draw command. And let me just show you for now, for a moment, I'm going to comment things out using a percentage sign. And we've suppressed our resistor. So there it is, no resistor. So we're going to use another draw command. So uncomment this. And I want it to start at A. So my draw will start here at A, which is 0, 4. We're going to have a short that goes, again, it's right, four units. And then this time, you see my resistor, it goes up four units. We're going to make it go down four units. And we'll stop there just so we can visualize and make sure things are going well. So here it is. It goes down. That's the plus and minus that I like. And then let's add the closing here. Close it off. Get rid of that semicolon. So there's that. Next, I'll add a current source just for something else to put in the circuit. So I'll change this short to a current source I, and let's put here a label. And there's my current source. The other thing I might want to do is put in a current arrow. Let's just do that just as an extra annotation. So for this, I'll use a draw again. And this time I'll start it at say about 4.5 for the X coordinate and maybe 3.5. And let's put two relative coordinates now. Let's see how this goes. Okay, there's the beginning of that. I'm gonna lengthen it a little bit and then two and let's go relative minus one unit in the x direction zero units in the y direction and then let's add an arrowhead and thicken it up and then let's put a label in for this current so i want my I, we're going to put an I here, and it's going to be right up here. So that's at the second node. So if I want, I'll put in here uh, another line, and we'll let's put here node, and we'll call it um, let's see, I like this. We'll put in anchor southwest. And then dollar signs for the I. And so that's maybe a good start on a basic circuit. So this is all done in a figure environment. And then 
within the figure environment, we created a circuit ticks environment. There's a caption, we can change the caption. And in this particular circuit, we use the draw command to make paths. We put in labels for different nodes. I could also add another node if I wanted to uh, just add text somewhere. It doesn't have to be associated with any path. So I'll use the node command. And we use a coordinate at terminate with a semicolon and then we have these braces for text let's put a, just a variable x if I compile it you'll see this x should appear up here so that's an additional tool for annotating your figure I'll just point out you could use as many of these draw commands and as many of these node commands as you want and then everything should be ended with or terminated with a semicolon I hope that gets you started with drawing circuits and ticks.